My name is Paul George. What does it mean to be a disciple? First off, to be a disciple means to be disciplined. Disciple, to be disciplined in the ways. Secondly, it means to be a follower, to, to follow someone or something and to be disciplined in those ways. For us as Christians, to be a disciple means to follow Jesus, to be a follower of Christ and his ways. You know, Jesus taught a specific way of living. He invested in 12 men and more people and taught them how to live life, and they became disciples of him. You know, there's a story of back in the days of Christ, a rabbi, which means teacher, would, would teach his disciples, and throughout the day they would walk along the dusty roads, and, and he would teach them his ways of life, the, maybe the scriptures, uh, uh, maybe the laws. And, and as they walked through the day, they would get the dust of the rabbi onto them. And at the end of the day, they would be covered in the dust of the rabbi. That's what it means to be a disciple to follow Jesus and to be covered in the dust of Christ, to be, to be covered in his ways and his teachings, in the art of what it means to live life the way Jesus taught it. So how do you become a disciple? First, you have to give your life over to someone or something. And for us as Christians, it means giving our life to Jesus, surrendering our life to Jesus Christ and saying, I'm no longer living for me, but I'm living for someone else, someone greater, someone bigger, someone who can satisfy me. And for the disciples in the time of Jesus, the 12, they gave up their lives and they inherited a new life and became a disciple of Jesus Christ. And it transformed them. It transformed their whole life forever. And for us, the greatest thing that we can do in our life is to say yes to Jesus and to become a disciple of Jesus Christ in our life today. And it will transform us forever.